This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about how to calculate the surface area of a cone. And we're talking about the total surface area. Uh, Alright, so here we have a cone. And uh, like all problems, you're going to be given some information. So let's write down what's given. So for this uh, problem, we're going to assume that the height is equal to 8 inches and that the radius is equal to 6 inches. Alright, so what are we going to do? Again, we're going to calculate the total surface area. So um, there are two surfaces to this figure. There are the walls of the cone, and actually it's just like one wrap around wall, and then you have the bottom, which is a circle. Okay, so we've got this circular shaped bottom in perspective. It looks like an oval, but uh, it's because the way we're kind of slanted here looking at it. But we've got a circular base and we got a wall. So there's only two surfaces to calculate. Um, I'm going to start on the harder one. So uh, the harder one is the lateral surface area. Okay, so lateral surface area of the walls here. So the formula for that is pi r l. You're wondering, wait, we got h, we got r, we got height, we got radius. What's this l thing? So the l is the slant height. So it's the distance from the top of the cone to the uh, end or edge of the circle. So a point on the circle. So from that point on the circle to the top, we have our lateral. Uh, uh, sorry, our slant height. I keep on saying lateral because it's l. All right. Well, if we've got the height, which is eight inches. And we've got the radius that's six inches. Well, I think you could, you know, identify a right angle there and a right triangle. So if we've got a right triangle, we're going to have to do a little uh, Pythagorean theorem, right? We have to use the Pythagorean theorem to get the hypotenuse, which is our slant height. All right, so I'm going to do that work right over here. So let's see, if we got eight squared plus six squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is L. So here we're getting 64, we're getting a 36, L squared, this is adding up to 100 on the left side. Take the square root of both sides and, no surprise, 10. So a little review of Pythagorean theorem, we've got our slant height, L. All right, well this is helpful because now we can calculate what the lateral surface area is. Okay, so it's pi times the radius, 6 inches, times the slant height, which we just found out is 10 inches. So if I multiply those two together, I'm going to get 6 times 10 is 60, times pi, and of course inches times inches is certainly inches squared. It's an area. We always have square units for area. Alright, so if we're going to calculate this to get uh, an answer that's not in terms of pi. We're going to multiply 60 times pi and for that we will get 188.4 inches squared. Okay, so that is an approximate answer for the lateral surface area. <coughs> Alright, we have one more surface to calculate the area and uh, the area of the bottom is the last one that's remaining. So that base is eh, recognizable. It's a circle, right? So the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. So let's see. I'm going to put pi times my radius, 6 inches squared. So let's see. That's pi times 36. Or sometimes we would say that that's 36 pi. Again, that's inches squared, so it's inches times inches. Again, it's an area. Areas always have inches squared. Uh, again, if we're looking for uh, not an exact answer or, or not an answer that's in terms of pi, we'll actually put the value, an approximate value for pi in there. So we'll multiply like that. Now, if we multiply those two numbers together, we get approximately 113.0. All right, so what is now the total surface area? Okay, well, it's 60 pi plus 36 pi. Which, of course, 
is equal to, what is that, 99? Nope, 96. That is 96 pi inches squared. Uh, but again, sometimes people like to get a decimal approximation for the whole thing. So if we put that decimal approximation in there, we're going to get approximately 301.4 inches squared. And there you go, there's our final answer. So this problem does have a couple steps, and, and, and of course it also, uh, you know, because that slant height is important for the lateral surface area. Uh, and another uh, thing to consider is, do you want your answer in terms of pi, or do you want to actually plug in that pi to get your decimal answer? Mathematicians usually like the in terms of pi, and then, of course, non-mathematicians like the decimal approximation. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out all our uh, instructional videos, our interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.